Hi, uh, welcome to another session on IPC. Today we are going to discuss about right of private defense that covers in section 96 to 106 in IPC. So there are four elements that you need to know about. The number one, body, property, situations and exceptions. You'll get to know how these four elements play a major role in understanding right of private defense. So let's get into the context. So right of private defense. Things done in private defense, nothing is an offense which is done in the exercise of right of, right, uh, right of private defense. Okay. The right of private defense of the body and of property. Body includes human body that includes self or others. A property includes movable and immovable. There is one exception when we talk about property. Open land trespass is not covered, meaning you cannot claim right of private defense uh, when the situation of open land trespass, you are fighting with someone else and you want to claim the right of private defense in that particular case, then you cannot claim. The property here means any, any place which a human being is living. Okay, unsound mind person. So this point is very important. Right of private defense against the act of a person of unsound mind. For example, a drunken person, you know, he took a, a knife and is, is, you know, scaring everyone that he want to kill someone. So he gone mad. So in that state, if he did murder also, that is not amounting an offense. But I, I think everyone knows this unsound mind crime is not amounting an offense. So here you also have the same right, right of private defense. In your right of private defense, if you happen to kill unsound mind person, so you can claim this right of private defense. So this right of private defense is always subject to the prosecution and proof of the situations. Right of private defense is not at all active all the time with you. So this is a private right of defense as per the sections. So that is why it is called right of private defense. No right of private defense. So what are the situations where you cannot claim this right of private defense? So act done by public servant in good faith. Acts done under the direction of public servant is also not covered. You cannot claim RPD in that situation. Okay, if there is no apprehension of death, a quarrel is happening between um, A person and a B person, and there is no apprehension of death. death. So you cannot, uh, you killed wantedly, and you cannot claim a right of private defenses here. That's the point. And when there is no apprehension of previous hurt, and especially when you have a time to get a protection from public authorities. In that time also, you cannot claim the right of private defense. So during the right of private defense, when you're defending and the, a death is happened, so what are the situations that requires to qualify the right of private defense? Okay, the situations are like, there should be apprehension of death and a grievous hurt or a rape attempting or a rape, a gratifying unnatural lust, kidnapping or wrongful confinement. During these cases and you do not have a choice to get a protection from the public authorities and you started defending and that defense results at death, then in prosecution you can claim right of private defense. And so continuity of the the duration, the continuance of the right of private defense. It begins when apprehension of danger to the body is detected. So, for example, if you're going on a highway, maybe let's consider at 9.30 p.m., a gang of people came and tried to snatch you. At the moment they show knife and, you know, they try to snatch your belongings, your valuables. So the danger to the body is happens. If you don't give it, they might kill. So that time you can start, you know, defending 
if that defense cause a grievous hurt to the accused or it may result to the death you still can claim or entitle right of private defense another example you're going in a highway at 9:30 pm some a two three persons came and they are asking for a dress and somebody pickpocketed your purse and you move a certain uh, one kilometer away and then you realize that your wallet is missing and you came back out of your frustration you started beating him out of your frustration he died in this situation you cannot claim right of private defense because it starts somewhere and it ends and there is also there is no apprehension of a danger to your body or a grievous hurt that is not suspected it's because of your upset and you went back and you beat him and he died in this situation you don't claim it clear okay so in right of private defense especially with regards to the property if if that defense causes a death when this is justified what are the situation that requires so the number one when is robbery is happening some four or five people came into your house in night so they are try to steal or your properties belongings or valuable things during that this particular time the right of private defense can be activated in your defense if there is any grievous hurt or death that is still subject to the prosecution and justifiable number 2 house breaking by night the same thing fire mischief committed to any building vessel tent or any human living thing so in that situation also we can use your private defense if that happens that results any grievous sort or death that is still subject to the right of private defense you can entitle it to prosecution theft mischief house trespass house trespass is included but open land trespass is excluded open land trespass you cannot claim right of private defense this is um, proved in one of the supreme court cases so take it as a landmark that open land trespass is not covered for right of private defense okay and the same way like a body that begins continues ends when you detect apprehension of danger to property it starts and it continues as long as apprehension of danger to the body is continuous and there is no continuity then it ends so during this period starts ends continuous the in these three dots if there is a grievous hurt or death that can be justified according to right of private defense that's the point here okay a deadly assault as in deadly assault an innocent person dies so this covers in section 106 let's see an example a attacked by a mob who attempt to murder he cannot effectually exercise his right of private defense without firing on the mob and he cannot fire without risk of harming young children who are mingled with the mob a commits no offense by if by so firing he harms any of the children so let's take a rwe that is real world evidence a protection a paramilitary officer is doing his duty okay a gang of 200 people came and attacked uh, this paramilitary person he has orders if such activities have he can fire on on mob knees in that mob a children's also included innocent person a children generally they are not you know try to do but in the in the mob one of the person children got lost his life so this officer can claim right of private defense in deadly assaults it just not limited to the uh, government officials it happens to uh, general public also if there is a protest is going on so one person is opposing that protest and this mob came back and tried to kill that person and during his their private defense he tried to hit someone and he and happened to cause an innocent person death this right of private defense can be activated to subject to the prosecution and its credibility okay so right of private defense is categorized into this as long as you remember this chart you can answer very well in your right written exam and as well as in your preliminary exams so scope 
that is covered no offense mean th this no offense is what is the meaning of this code so when it is no offense and defense against the body or property so exception is unsound mind right of private defense right, right of private defense is still valid public servants no right of private no right of private defense when there is a prevention of death or a harm against human body so you can use the right of uh, for private defense and that can result death or harm still justified subject to the prosecution and the continuance when it starts and when it continues and in what situation it ends that covers under this part and the same way against the property death or harm can happen and the period and the deadly assault is a standalone um, section that is mentioned in IPC 106 when there is a deadly assault by mob and during the right of private defense if there is any grievous hurt or death happen then that is still justified justifiable subject to the so try to remember in this way no offense the meaning of uh, right of private defense when there is no offense will be amounted that is discussed in section 96 starting of the section and defense against whether it is body or human body or a property that is in 97 so in the exception side unsound mind and the public servant so this is 98 and 99 and then against body against property against body starts with 100 that is talks about death and harm and its period continuance in the same way against property death 103 harm 104 and continuance is 105 you need to group this way <clears throat> and this way so that you know you can understand in a proper way and this is the last one is a deadly assault and resulting innocent um, death that is discussed in 106 that's the last section of the right of private defense so as long as you remember this tree you will able to retrieve all the points in a sequence and you can put nice answer in your paper in your exams hope you enjoyed this lesson i see you in the next lesson until then bye